Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Gatsbert. This episode sponsored by Vix Vapor Rub. Vix Vapor Rub. I used it for the second time in my whole life about 15 minutes ago, and I am feeling less congested. We're not actually sponsored by them. Damn, we have technology again! RNG Jesus, why? P6BT, TY33, we got Lazy Worm, Lazy River, Crystal Ball, and the Mind. It's actually like a pretty good start. As long as we don't fuck it up so royally that I get hit in here, don't get a spirit heart, and then like can't make it out. But we did fine. It's gonna be like a a quick start here. We got all sorts of you know jacked up nonsense to begin with. Immediately, did you see the location of those bombs? They spawned right fucking on top of me. But we're still here. A little bit of a scary moment to start with. Even this room is like a little dicey. We're down to one spirit heart, predominantly because the champion... Uh, sorry, the, the crystal ball did not pay out with the spirit heart. So we're a little bummed out here. Um, but as long as we can get a couple spirit hearts to get us kickstarted here, we should be fine. It's actually a pretty good setup. I'm just a little worried about our HP as it stands right now. That being said, uh, could be a lot worse. The mind is awesome. Remember, we had Eden's Blessing, which is why we have more items now. Forever Alone is also pretty good. More money, kind of hoping for a battery charge, but I'll accept enough money to get us into the shop. I would find that okay. Yeah, that'll do. A luck upgrade that also takes us to 15 cents, nothing wrong with that. And we could always double up our, uh, our money if we see fit coming right up. I think we might as well check this. Wow, that was one heck of a shot. Why am I using- I have infinite range. Brain, you have infinite range. Why are you using- the attack fly. That seems like a silly idea. Holy freaking mantle! Right there, right off the bat? This is one hell of a start here. Things are like, they're not pulling any punches, let's put it that way. Well, to be honest with you, we can go to our shop. We got two keys. And we should go to our shop, but we don't need to go to our shop anymore because we just picked up two spirit hearts. But we're going to. Uh, and inside we get nightlight. I think we should wait. I think we should wait on this one and hopefully get, uh, have more money for when we pop two of diamonds. This has really kicked off. And I know, like, it sounds like I'm trying to play it up like, wow, this has never happened before. But sincerely, this has been like a roller coaster here, uh, from the start to the, to the now, which is not even the end of this floor. So I'm pretty stoked. In case you missed it again, we are, we're not actually sponsored by Vicks Vapor Rub. I think that would be like, It'd be a very telling thing to be sponsored by, you know? If you're sponsored by Monster Energy Drinks, you'd be like, this guy likes Monster Energy Drinks. If you're sponsored by Vicks Vapor Rub, people would be like, I don't know if I want to watch this guy, it seems like he gets sick a lot. But I gotta admit that it's got a muskiness to it that's just <sighs> opening me up here in the all the rickle of ways. Um, we are gonna try the double key room, which was really stupid because we should have come at it from the other direction. I'm gonna use two of diamonds and hold the arrow rune. We do have one key left, so I'm not too weirded out. Very rare to see a champion version of that enemy, just because it's very rare to see that enemy to begin with, but uh, we're moving right along here. Obviously, like, now that we've got... Well, I mean, attack fly, if that's all we'd gotten on the last floor, I would be okay with it. But we didn't just get attack fly. We got attack fly, and we got holy mantle. We got pentagram. It was a really, really strong floor. Uh, that I was excited to be a part of, and I continue to be excited to be a part of it. So, I'm hopeful that, uh, you know, we can continue having that sort of good luck moving forward here, but... Oh, wow, it's mega. Obviously, we'll take Judas' Shadow. And then I will take Mega, and I... How could we not, right? We have to. It's like there's something in the code. The Isaac code that says when Mega shows up, you gotta take it. There was a period... We can't take that yet. There was a period somewhere, re somewhat recently, I should say, where Mega was showing up so frequently that I think I did entertain the idea of not actually using it. Uh, but we are, it, it's been long enough that I feel like we can go back on that right now and uh, enjoy using it. And this is probably going to be another nice and easy win. I'm okay with that, but I recognize... Well, we got Holy Man, so what am I scared about? I recognize that um, for some people, you're probably going to be like, dang it, another win. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Life comes at you fast. With the power of Vicks Vapor Rub, you can be equipped to deal with whatever life throws at you. As long as what life is throwing at you is a 
illness uh, that you don't actually need medical treatment for, just as like semi holistic remedy that makes you feel uh, weird all down in your plums. Vicks Vapor Rub now available. I gotta be honest with you though. Kate uh, talked to me and she was like, "Yo, I don't know if you want to know this, but that Vicks Vapor Rub has like it's past its best before date." And I was like, "What? Vicks Vapor Rub has a best before date?" You're not consuming it, you're rubbing it on your chest and or neck. I still used it, but I will admit, I'm like, am I, am I getting harmful chemicals soaked into my skin or something like that? Relax, are you a wizard? 48 hour energy is pretty solid. Let's head down to the next floor. Mega is gonna be ridiculously strong, and I gotta admit, if you're feeling sick, very close to a Bell and Sebastian reference there. If you're feeling sick, these are the kind of Isaac runs you want to encounter, right? Like, uh, let's not check Curse Room just yet. You want the, uh, you know, hey, start me with Death's Touch. Hey, give me Mega on the second floor sort of runs. You don't want the, excuse me, you can't pick up an Eternal Heart in that situation? There we go. Um, you don't want the, you know, oh, you re-rolled your one run into, uh, Ipecat Cricket's body, Isaac's heart. I know you want them, you selfish so-and-so is out there in chat right now. You want them. And you know what? If I'm being honest, I want them too. I just don't want them today. If you could save those for my next Isaac recording session, probably on a on a Sunday or something, that would be fine by me. I'm, I'm well equipped to deal with those. Or to at least put on a, a, a happy face as I lose. That's no, like I'm well versed in that. But for sick day, if I'm gonna be working, at our makeshift office here, aka what should be a coat closet that I've converted into a semi-soundproof booth. I uh, I appreciate you giving me the easy way out, I really do. This run has been extremely kind to us so far. For all the bad RNG that we had getting keeper, keeper, keeper over and over, um, this run, which is already great, plus the ability to just double our damage at our own whim, uh, by respawning with, with Judas's Shadow. It's like extremely compelling. Plus we got Holy Mantle for defense. Plus we got the Mind for utility. It means I don't have to worry about spikes at all. It's like, it's not quite better than flying. Eh, pardon me. Maybe in some ways it is. No deal with the devil. Well, we might as well explore here. If you want to backtrack, you know, having the afterburners on like this could be worse. Please. Wow. Probably some of the worst use of Mega I've ever seen. But you know what? We'll have plenty of opportunities to, to put even that usage to shame. Not going to worry about uh, Golden Chess here. All I want to ask of you is if you're watching this and you notice my speech start to slur. Starting to be incoherent. You know, a very blurry blurtation. Um, just tweet me and say, hey dude, you alright? Sounds like you're having a stroke. Obviously, this episode is going to come out like three days. Ooh, Mr. Mega's not quite good enough. It's going to, this episode is going to come out like three days after this video is recorded, but hey man, you know, early warning signs are important. I think we will take Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby is like right at the epicenter of boring and useful. I don't know if it's anybody's favorite item in the game, but it's, uh, I don't think anybody's too disappointed to see it. Like, it's just, it's passive. Passive everything, basically. So we didn't go to the curse room yet, or we did? We did, right? That looks like our secret room. We have seen our item room. We got Rotten Baby. We haven't seen our shop. I guess I'm just gonna go? I'm not really rushing, but I have no idea where we are. And I have no key. And I've already been to the item room, and I've already fought the boss, so I think it's time for us to probably be moving on. Goodbye! Eden, it's been nice. Give it a second, give it a second, give it a second. It's percolating up there. Don't forget, don't forget your ball of gas. The Super Champ, any Super Champ fans out there? Probably, they're like one of the most popular rock bands. Definitely like one of the top 100 most popular rock bands. To put them top 10 might be a stretch, but they're in the top 100. You know, them, Cheap Trick, Warrant. No, Super Tramp's above Warrant, I think. In the rock and roll pantheon, Super Tramp's above Warrant, I think. Nothing against Warrant. You know, she's my cherry pie. Cool drink of water, such a sweet soul surprise. Such a sweet soul prized. 
So stupid! This lyric doesn't work, it's never gonna make sense! Hey! This is the ghost of... John Lennon speaking to Warren now. What have you said is a sweet surprise? That'll get the kids talking. Why the ghost of John Lennon chose to haunt slash bless the lead singer of Warrant, I don't know. But I like to think that every good song made since John Lennon's assassination in 1980 at the hands of Mark David Chapman had a little bit of the ghost of John Lennon involved, you know? He was there. When Miley Cyrus wrote Party in the USA, oh, I was there. When Rich Boy wrote Throw Some D's on it, that was me too. Originally he wanted to call it Throw Some J's on it. Doesn't even make any sense except in a marijuana context. You might ask why is the ghost of John Lennon speaking in a very bad New Zealand accent. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Ghost Wellington after my untimely demise. Ghost John Lennon is not going to take off as a character. You guys, Sylvester Stallone shows up now and then. He's okay. He sometimes gets a little gummy, but that's about it. And then, of course, you got Michael Kine. Not as easy with the congestion, Master Wine. But uh, I think New, Z New Zealand John Lennon, he's probably not here to stay. No, I'm getting kicked out again, huh? Just like Kings of Leon did. Nobody wants me around. I see how it is. That's him slowly getting further and further away. Okay, um, which is good because now he's gone. Goodbye. Let's see what we've got inside of our item room. It is a question mark that is the poop. Uh, I almost broke my neck from the momentum swing. Having the best spacebar item in the game followed by one of the worst, although not probably the worst. Inside of our shop though. BFFs, good. Wooden nickel, not good. But it did give us some of our money back. I think at this point we're on Flooded Caves 2. It uh, went how it went, okay? They are who we thought we were. Uh, who we thought they were. We um, we donated some money. We didn't really get uh, a lot of donation value, but we were so wealthy, we might as well do so. Uh, otherwise, you know, what's the point of having money if you can't spend it, right? Find yourself in like a Mr. Deeds type scenario. It's got Gertie. I don't know if that's the plot of Mr. Deeds. We established in Ultimate Chicken Horse recently that I don't really remember the plot of Mr. Deeds. I forgot that Adam Sandler had the dead foot. I thought that John Turturro had the dead foot, and that's my bad. We could honestly use the speed upgrade. Gimpy is good. Missing Page 2 is not good, but is not an enormous cost to this bad item, so that's okay. How about this as a, an item slash mod idea for Afterbirth Plus? What if there was an item that only showed up as a red question mark, even if you didn't have Curse of the, the uh, Blind, and if you picked it up without thinking, it just took your HP and didn't even, like, give you anything for it. So you'd go into a deal with the devil and be like, whoa, that's weird, there's a red question mark. And you pick it up and you'd be like, what, I just lost HP, I didn't even get anything. God damn it! Northern Lion's item got me again. Just think about it. Open, you can't open it, okay. Well, let's go this way then. I don't know if I want to fight the boss yet. I want to open that golden chest. We got four keys. That's enough. Satanic Bible, why do you have to waste my time with these spacebar items that are good, but like not good enough to be super excited about because we already have the best spacebar item in the game. Not that I'm complaining necessarily. I mean, it's just sort of like, come on though. Three cents. Also, totally fine. If we get restock, which is okay. I got wedged in there. Uh, I was going to pick it up anyway, but... If we get restock, which is uh, a completely acceptable item and actually sort of plausible if you believe in the uh, the theory that if you get an item, you're more likely to get it on subsequent runs on the same day. And I don't know. I think I do believe in that theory to some extent, but maybe it's just superstition. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little bit stitious. That chest is not moving. I was wondering if maybe we'd have a chance to get like trapped in there. I think I really like have zero anything to complain about. Well, I can complain about me being an idiot. That's not new though. 
We've already gone through some layers of commentary on that. But Holy Mantle and BFF Ball of Bandages is really just like all you need to survive many of these rooms and, and to kill them quickly. Actually, what if you said all you need is love? G Ghost John Lennon! That song already exists. That can't help me climb the pop charts, for one. Secondly, no, that's not... You, I told you to get out of here. Stop haunting me. Go, go see Yoko. She's still... She misses you, I'm sure. I'm not even making light of the situation. It's a tragedy. I mean, it happened eight years before I was born. But still, you know, the shockwaves still being felt to this day. Mom's heels. Not particularly strong. Especially with technology. We're on the depths to about two minutes ahead of schedule. Every run today, this is the third one. You know, fourth, I guess, if you count the keeper, but that was contained within a single video. So, um, this is the third run today that has been really, really fast. And I'm grateful for that uh, because it means usually that they're powerful as well. Much like Oz, starring James Franco. James Franco. Um, play Judgment. I mean, I could use the HP. It's not like we're close to permanent Polaroid invincibility anyway. So, um, you know, we can always give up HP on a deal with the devil. Regardless, probably. Gimby's paying out occasionally. I will trade a black card for a spirit art just to try to get some more money. We got so much time for, like, boss rush purposes. Yara is not really functional here. Card could be good. Sun card. You know what? I'm just going to pop it right now so I know where I'm going. It's not a teleport card, so I don't feel bad about it. And we can still get into that boss trap room that I just peeped on the map there. Just by doing that. Oh, that that voice is certainly an indicator that this should be the last video I record today. There you go. We can do it once more. Might as well. Fair enough. We don't need the money. So we got um, HP, which is probably next to useless at this point. But, you know... Beggars can't be choosers. Mind you, I mean, he was the beggar. I was the one giving the beggar the money. If anybody has the right to be a chooser in this situation, I'm going to assume that it's probably me. But I'm no lawyer. Um, keep it going here. We should be okay. Boss trap room. I guess I'm looking for red chests. You know, you always want the guppy transformation. It's not likely to happen. But it could happen. Bloody Penny is kind of interesting. And to be honest with you, Lazy Worm is no good. But, oh my god, Eden's Blessing again. I love it, even though I probably should hate it. Because it gives you the chance to start with an item. It gives you an extra chance, I should say, to start with an item like Isaac's Heart that you're not going to be a huge fan of. But uh, I just love, I love the uncertainty. You know, I can't deny it. I miss the misery. Can't, I can't sing the Vicks Vapor Rub, dude. This, you know what? I'm taking away my own honorary Vicks Vapor Rub sponsorship because it's impacting my singing career. And honestly, this whole YouTube thing, it's really just a segue so that I can get into the world of Hollywood pop songs. They're not really, there's no, there's no Hollywood for music, right? There's like, there's Nashville. We don't really have one in Canada either. It's probably just Toronto. You know, there's no, like, I don't think there's, like, an Edmonton, Nashville or something, you know. Fort McMurray, my woman. Sudbury, man. This is not, I don't think it exists. I know that if you're from one of those two places, I chose them exclusively because of the syllables in their name, not the quality of your character as citizens. I love all my Canadian friends and family, except you and Moose Factory. You know what you did this point we might as well purchase this looks like a run if i'm being honest i'm probably not gonna do the hush fight i should probably also use mega from time to time should probably stop being such a idiotic example of uh the folly of man at the present moment oh god you know what just just let it burn just let it burn let it burn off we, we actually might do boss rush, though, because with Mega, it should be very easy. If there's an item we like, but honestly, there really isn't. We have piercing shots, and that doesn't give us speed. The other one gives us speed. Cupid's, oh, maybe that one does give us speed. Yeah, I, okay. Because this gives me speed, I'm going to take it. 
We got Holy Mantle, but really what I'm relying on here is just living long enough to get... Well, obviously I'm going to live long enough, but... Uh, surviving well long enough to get Mega to pop off, and once Mega starts popping, you know, it don't stop coming. Bend to the rules of me, hit the ground running, etc, etc. Um, just keep yourself back here. We're, we're further away from the Mega payout than I'd like to admit, which is indicative, I think, of the fact that our damage is actually kind of bad. It's not the worst damage I've ever had, but it's it's nothing to write home about, unfortunately. And that really is unfortunate because this run has the potential to pop off if we could just... Well, okay. The Forsaken is going to kill the Fallen. Unless the Fallen is sm smart enough to get out of the way. But I also got hit, so I'm not going to talk shit. Come on, just one more room. Makes this very easy. Keep in mind, we are getting an item when we finish as well. So it's not like... I did this just to get a single speed upgrade. But this should show you like how much I'm starting to value speed as an item. Or as a as a an attribute. So I really feel like even like three months ago, there's no way I'm doing boss rush for a single speed upgrade unless I'm so slow that you know it's grossly impacting my ability to succeed. And it certainly in this run, that is not the case right now. Can be paid out. I really appreciate that. Just keep us relatively set on HP because I mean we're doing well but could always do weller I believe is the way that that word gets conjugated you may hear the bathtub in the background do not be alarmed I'm talking to myself you guys you have better you have stronger constitutions than I would but I'm just I'm really scared of bathtubs what can I say ever since I had a bad experience in one as a child where I almost got clean for the first time in my life I've just found them uh we just found them quite frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning. I'm a little disappointed with my own mega usage here. I'm also, you can tell I'm getting impatient. You know, I'm using the ball of bandages to deal a lot of damage. Which is actually a great strat when you have uh, Holy Mantle active. When you don't have Holy Mantle active, it's a bit of a waste. And that's, that's the situation we're in right now. Okay. I know, I know, I know, just let me ride out this room. I'm enjoying being lazy and taking damage, but having it not impact me that much because this run is really solid. I accept my savior is dodging, but I'm also enjoying this Cuba Meat Bandage. Cuba Meat Bandage, Cuba Meat Damage is what I meant to say, but it is a bandage as well. Here we go, spit. Okay, item. The Magnet. Well worth our time. And by well worth our time, I mean nobody mentioned this to me ever again unless you want a lead salad, you better believe it. Okay. At least we know where we're going. And I see that there is a, uh, a double key room down here. We didn't have to come this way, but... There's been bigger wastes of time in my Isaac career, probably. I think we're done. Close to done. Two room. So we'll take Bomber Boy. I don't really want to open a golden chest. This re ah, You know what? Because this only rerolls consumables on the ground, I will take it, reroll it. And it has burned me a little bit, but there's keys back here. Okay. We got a spear at heart, so that was well worth it. Um, I think we should open this just to see. And we got infamy after all the rerolls there. That's actually a pretty good outcome for us. Yeah, let's go open this red chest. And again, until we get a guppy item, I'm not making much of an investment in other red chests. But for this one, if it's just out there in the open, that doesn't bother me. This room is like low-key one of the hardest rooms in the game for me. The fact that we made it through there feels quite nice. Uh, I think we'll just save Mega. Even though we have that battery charge, I'm going to save Mega for the next floor. Because if we get to deal with the devil, I don't want to be stuck not taking anything uh, while we wait. And to be honest, like we're killing things acceptably in the, in the meantime. I'm serious, by the way, I apologize for my voice, like, although the the brain is willing, the flesh is spongy and weak right now, to quote Futurama. It's Futurama. Infamy just saved my ass, like, three times there. And maybe again, although, to be honest with you, it looked to me like I walked through the spikes, like some kind of goddamn genius. Infamy saved me again. And that's what we're looking for. Growth hormones is awesome. That gave us spun. Holy crap. Um... 
We'll probably go for both of these. No! I saved you. I saved you. You got anything for me? I'm still going to go here. I mean, we have... Uh... Oh my god, Synth Oil as well. I was going to say we have... Um... Judas' Shadow backing us up, too, in case we're not happy with our damage. And I realize now that I complain about my damage a lot on a run, in which we could have killed ourselves and come back as Judas multiple times. But hey, that's life, right? You know what? Don't go that way. I don't want keys. Now that I think of... Oh, my God. This has been, like, the best infamy of all time. I thought I saw a Tinted Rock here. Maybe not. Oh, I'm not going to sweat this room right now, because we are much stronger than it. But, yeah, I really don't want to waste my keys here. So I'm going to hold back. If we get a bunch of keys on this floor, I'll consider it. But let's be honest. We're probably not going to. And that's okay. Plenty. Well, there's one. But plenty of time to uh, do the hush fight. But got to be honest. Six HP is maybe just a little too uh, scant for my blood. That's, that's the way you use that word, right? Scant? Perks are okay. But Yara is way more important. Uh, yeah, let's just go up to the cathedral, and honestly, this one's pretty much on Isaac Autopilot right now. Ooh, which is probably a good thing. I can get some lem sip into me, as you call it in the UK. I don't know why I say you, more of my audience is American and Canadian than from the UK, but the Canadian name for it, I can't be like, yeah, uh, well, weird Brits. You call that sick tea, lem sip. How strange is that? Well, what do you call it in Canada? Neo Citrin. Sounds like a fucking Crash Bandicoot villain. It's not like I can pretend that I have some kind of I have the superior position there. We did not need to come this way. Or as Ghost Tom Petty would say, "Don't come around here no more." Why is Ghost Tom Petty also New Zealand? Well. I told you, Ghost Auckland or Ghost Wellington. It's just, it's just where ghosts. It's like you start a vacation as far as ghosts go. You go to Ghost Cuba, you go to Ghost Cancun, and you go to Ghost Wellington. See where they filmed the good Ghost Lord of the Rings. Northern Lion, this is offensive. Please stop. I beg you. Okay, sure. Okay. Thanks, Inner Conscience. I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, we do need more keys. Go back, get these keys. Go back, get this chest. We need eight keys. That's not helping. Thanks for nothing. Six keys is okay. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for eight keys. That's two more than six. People oftentimes get that confused. And I say nay. I say check the math twice. He's gonna find out who's not in nice. We're looking for eight keys. Not six. If we had six chests, six keys would be nice. But we have eight chests, so that is no dice. We're looking for eight keys, not six. Would you be pleased with seven? Would you be pleased with five? Would you be pleased with four? I say no, that's not right. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus. Okay, it's good. That's fine. Spider-Man is coming to the town. Sad Onion. Good. Luckfoot. Good. Libra. Scary, but I'll take it. Lard is an all stats down except for HP because of Libra, so I'm not going to take it. Friendly Ball. Not interested. Rainbow Baby. Half decent. Wait, we... Oh, Libra gives us enough keys to open the other ones. Okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. So we should go back and open the remainder. Ah, oh, man. Mega Bean again, huh? And Milk. Milk lowers your tier delay, so there is that. But it's not an all-star item. It's, it's okay. I mean, the run is going to be fine. I think that's relatively self-evident. I feel bad for, like... Being stoked that I got technology, because now apparently the game's like, Oh, you like technology? Here you go. There's enough technology to last you a lifetime. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I'm also not interested. Bomber boy, watch out. Really, I think a combination of, like, 
running into enemies, placing a single bomb in our orbital, uh, is gonna clear pretty much every room here that's that's on the normal size spectrum. 67 bombs is nothing to sneeze at. And Libra didn't really leave us with like a serious problem in any statistical department. Not that I can see anyway. Like I still feel pretty well balanced here. Marked with technology, if I remember correctly, is just like a really good rate of fire increase. So, as much as I don't like that item, uh, if there's ever a right time to take it, it's probably now. But the jury is out, I think, on whether there's ever a right time to take it. Oh, it's gonna roast them. It's, it roasted me as well, but it also roasted them. God, I hate dealing with these enemies, man. On the bright side, uh, seems like on account of the virus here, or is it Serpent's Kiss? No, the virus. We're getting some black hearts. We probably have no deserving, uh, you know, Casas Belly for. Shoot the Whoop, great item. It's like a mini mega. But we're in the business of the mega megas. I have to believe this is probably the wrong way. Oh, the steeds! <coughs> oh my god! That one, it, it came over me with the fire of a thousand suns. Normally you get a little bit of a sneeze warning period. That one was just like... That was like a... A Pacific earthquake, man. You get a text message that says like, you know, get into your door frame and then two seconds later... <laughs> okay. Real down? No. There's always one that's like the worst dead end, and, and that's this one right now. How on God's green earth did I shoot Bob's brain backwards diagonally by accident? It hit the enemy, so I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. That's all. Wait, 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 wait. Did I miss this direction or no? Obviously not. I mean, as compensation for this, you could always give me more items. Okay, this has got to be the right way. Bomber Boy actually works inside of... Or it looks like, at least, it works inside of the uh, the stomach of Chubb. Sometimes I feel like that neutralizes the bomb effects, but maybe I've been incorrect in that assessment for years now. And by years, I mean, like, a year and a little bit. Which is technically... It has taken place over multiple years. Two double cage rooms on the same floor? What have I done to deserve this? I think that largely in my life I've been a pretty good person. The punishment that you are doling out here seems disproportionate to me. Let me guess. We get Mega, two rooms later we find the boss fight, and we're good to go. Just by intuition found the right place to stand there to avoid that. And here's where the guest comes in handy. One, two. Ooh. Sorry, this time it was three wow. rooms. That's my bad. All right, uh, Maldoon, thanks for the subscription. <laughs> We're not streaming right now, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching. And a big shout out to Maldoon for that subscription at the end. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'm going to go blow my nose. I'll see you next time.